how to build wealth. Hi, I'm Laurel Langmire, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And we're here to talk about how to build wealth. I have done this now for decades, consistently and congruently for thousands and thousands of people. Thousands of people, I say north of 5,000, 6,000 people have become millionaires. I've had hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people through my events, and we are all here, they say, looking for the same thing. So how do you not only become a millionaire, how do you build wealth? Well, we always say to become a millionaire requires four things, right? It requires you to make money, keep money, invest money with a team. So specifically, let's break down a few strategies today on how to build wealth in the 2024 economy. So number one, how do you leverage good debt to build wealth wisely? Like really arbitrage and I say print money. It's not difficult, it's very different. And for a lot of you who have weird psychology with that, you're gonna have some like stretching around this one. Number two, what are some strategies to increase your income? In some ways you could like, I'm gonna say double if not eight X your income and not increase your expenses. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is your investing strategy. A, do you have one or do you park and pray with a financial planner and what can you do to increase your rate of returns and create a faster compounding of your money. Instead of the rule of 72, where you double your money within seven years, what if we could get it down to three, four or five years and start doubling your money and compounding faster? So let's begin with leveraging good debt. So what do we mean by leverage good debt? So first of all, debt is just the cost of money. So it's not what you were taught. It's not what Warden June Cleaver area in the 60s and 70s. It's not what you heard from Susie Orman. It's not what you heard from Dave Ramsey. Sure not what you heard from most of the debt relief programs. So debt is something that you want to carry. You want to carry good debt. You want to use good debt. So good debt is a low cost debt. It's 0%. That's my favorite. That's free money. If you really think about it, 2%, 3%. Right now, good rates would be anything under five given our 2024 economy and the inflation and the increased interest rates. I know people who are buying houses like they're locking in for seven and 8%. Don't know if I would do that. That's a really high interest rate for a home. Vehicles, again, they've creeped up as well. Again, cost of money. So cost of money for a lot of loans is in the, I'd say anywhere. If you can find a four or 5%, you're doing really good. Most of them are in the eight to 10% ranges right now. And that's good. Is it good? I don't know. I have all sorts of ways, hundreds of ways to help you get 0% financing for up to 21 months. The EIDL money that came out, right? For your company, if you knew how to arbitrage good debt. See, for some of you, you've got to realize that good debt is against great assets. Meaning that if I could go borrow money, 0%, 2%, 3%, 4% money. I don't care if it's a million dollars in debt. Some of you'd have to really get your brain around that. If I had a million dollars at low interest, I'm gonna call it 3%, and I could find a way to invest it for 15, 18, 20%, which is not difficult when you know what I know and the access to what we have. You could have that access too, but you gotta lean in closer and join our community. So that's how you're gonna learn it because I'm not gonna just give little tips to the uneducated. You've gotta lean in and say, I wanna learn it all. I wanna learn, I'm gonna read. Actually, you're going to dive deep into your books. I'm going to come up with lists of questions and really understand it. Because if you're willing, I mean, think about it, to go into a million dollars, $100,000 of debt, $200,000 of good debt, like call it 3%, and you can invest it for 15. That's a 12% spread. That's called an arbitrage. That's what banks do, right? Banks take your deposits in for free. Thank you. Actually, they charge you to put it in their accounts by having you have to pay for checks and pay for wires and pay for counter checks and pay for cashier's checks. So they're making money all over the place on you while you're blindly giving them money. Money, they actually go to 10 exit with the central bank. So for every say 100,000 that you deposit in a bank account, they get to go get a million. If you put a million in, they get 10 million. So who's actually helping the banks make money? You, the consumer, by giving them deposits. That's called an arbitrage. So why don't you create a bank in your family? Teaching your heirs, like my son just got the memo because we carry a lot of good debt against, when I say against, supported and invested in great, great assets that are arbitrage. So why would you pay off 3% debt especially in an era where you can't find it again, when you can make 12%. So 100,000, you're printing 12,000. If you have a million dollars of that kind of debt, you're printing 120,000 of just cash because you arbitrage 12% of a million dollars. That's 
20 divided by 12, that's 10,000 a month. I don't know about you, but that's a fast way to build wealth. If you're willing to do it and your biggest risk is going to be finding an investment that's sustainable during the time that you want to carry the debt. Now, the next way, which is probably one of my fastest and favorite, is just generate more income. So instead of being busy, create a revenue producing day. Notice what is it that you do during the day causing efficiency that's going to have you now create some cash. So I can promise you answering a bunch of Facebook engagement at things like that. That's got to be part of it. But those are hireable tasks. What you need to be doing, the entrepreneur, the owner. And if you work for one of them, that's what they need to be doing. They need to be actually working on better marketing. So is that social post? Yes. Is that the engagement and all the algorithms behind it? No, hire great people for that. The first thing is you got to live corporate life. The money that you make has got to come into a company, not your personal bank account. So if you're still a sole proprietor and personal, this isn't going to apply to you because you've already just killed yourself in overpaying taxes. So when you live corporate life, now any expenses that you might incur, and again, I said, how would you increase income by not increasing expenses is do more of what works. So for example, marketing, we do more social posting, right? From here, you go to asklaurel.com, A-S-K-L-O-R-E-L, ask a question, make a request, and then you're followed up immediately by phone calls and answering those questions and just engaging with you. As far as doubling and tripling, you've got to look at your sales closing ratios. There is nothing faster to increase your income than your ability to close more of what you have. See, a lot of you, on average, I teach, if you close 10%, so say you get 100 new people interested in you a month and you can close 10 of them, that's good. If you can close 20 of them, just double, close 20% of them, you're now on a trajectory over that year to 8x your revenue. So if you're used to making 100, you're going to make $800,000 by just increasing your closing ratio. So again, what are the behaviors that cause and move the needle for you to have more income and no more expense? It's just better talk tracks, better scripts, better follow-up, better decisiveness in your language patterns and being an actual real sales professional. The other side of that income without expenses would be manage your cash flow. Stop paying your bills once a month, twice a month, put it on an auto pay and just hope it all works out. Really strategically use your cash as you are making income and make sure it is 100% deductible through your company so that way you're not increasing your outlay of capital. Before I go to the last one, which is about investing, which is one of my favorite, I want you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be here five days a week. This is a family-friendly channel. We have learning journals. Go grab them in the description below. Make sure you're actually learning something in each video. Take one takeaway away every time you're out here. And if there's someone that needs this video, please share it. Share it with five, 10, 15, 20 people. And uh, let's go to the last one. How do you invest to build wealth? So first of all, I would start with a baseline assessment. What are you currently doing, right? If you, when you become a client of ours, especially if you have a big stock portfolio, which is very odd because if you have a, too much of a stock portfolio and you're a high income earner, now you've got capital gains and you've got W-2 income. And if you don't have the right corporate structure, you're gonna get overtaxed. I have clients right now that are knocking on a door wanting help and their corporate structure is completely wrong. They're overpaying tax and they have no baseline assessment of their portfolio. So what do you have now and what's the true ROI? And if you are in real estate or gas and oil and different, like more what I call alternative assets that are actually ground level assets, what's your IRR, which is your internal rate of return, which actually takes in the tax equation of that. So what are you paying in taxes? Are you overpaying? What's your real rate of return of compounding that money? So many of you, you don't use a Roth IRA, don't know why. And if you're overpaying yourself, you know, meaning 105,000 or more and you can't get a Roth, then drop your salary. So get a Roth because inside of those is where you can make big moves because they're tax-free, tax-deferred gains. So for example, I bought Bitcoin at 4,000, bought it at 9,000, sold out when it was in the 80s. The Kemp bought back in, did a 20% drop, 20% back in. There's so many ways. I mean, I took a $4,000 investment and it is now worth hundreds of thousands of dollars in my Roth, tax-free, tax-deferred. That's how you build wealth is by smart investing, smart arbitrages, smart use of debt and use, create more capital. You've got to create more income in the way that you sell. So lots of strategies to do it. I'd love to help you. When you have questions, go to Ask Laurel, A-S-K-L-O-R-A-L. Ask questions, make a request. We are here every day. So uh, share with your family, share with your friends and let me help you build wealth.